Right, quick test here now just to show you the difference between what happens to polypropylene carpet when it burns and what happens to wool carpet when it burns. All products actually pass the British test um, for, for flammability, so they're not going to spontaneously combust um, or they're, they're just not going to combust full stop. But what you can see here, and I, I must admit, I wouldn't try or suggest to anybody that you try this at home. You've got to be really careful what you're doing here. So I'm in a safer environment in the warehouse, but you can see it's not setting light, but what it is doing, it's just, it's just melting. Okay, I can like show you there that the depth and the damage that that's happened. So if something happens to go onto it, it will just do that, it'll melt. That's polypropylene, that's what happens to polypropylene. This, as it happens, actually is a piece of anniversary twist, but it could be any wool twist product or any wool product. Um, the same, the result will be exactly the same. This with 80% wool, it's not 100%, but you'll see uh, it will just char. Little bit of burning going on there, but actually it just doesn't melt, so you get that char effect. So any product, any carpet that you'll get, whether it's from us or anybody else in the UK, will almost certainly have passed the British standard to make sure that it doesn't catch fire. So you haven't got to worry about that, but as you can see here, the two, the two effects of the two, if you were in a situation like that where something just quickly went onto the floor, what would you prefer? I mean, that's, that's not great. On the other hand, wool, it's a great product. These are all the benefits that you get when you go for wool.